Hello and a Merry Beebmas to you. So in this video I'm going to be having a look at the first game on the BBC Micro User Magazine's uh, Christmas Crackers collection. Uh, this was a disc that was available for sale from the magazine um, and it had six games on it as you can see here and in this video I'm going to look at the first one which is Snowplow. Now it has to be said this is possibly one of the noisiest games ever created for the BBC Micro. It's relentless. Uh, you are a car park attendant and you're driving your snowplow around the car park trying to clear it of all the snow and uh, in the process uh, you have to avoid ponds, walls, rocks, which are all fixed obstacles, uh, but also a roving something, which I'm not quite sure what it is, which bounces around the car park um, and you have to avoid that as well. Uh, but throughout, as we shall see, um, there is the recurring sound of our trusty snowplow. Accompanied with a lovely bit of white noise as well to uh, indicate the fact that you're clearing snow as opposed to when I'm not clearing the snow. As you can see now there's, or here, there is no white noise. And that rather strange thing that's uh, following me around the car park puts me back to the beginning. Yes, it's another one of those unforgiving 8-bit games where if you um, manage to clear everything but the last bit of snow in this car park, it sends you right back to the start again. Well at least to the start of this particular car park. Um, if you do manage to clear this car park and get to the next one, uh, if you lose a life at that point, it doesn't send you all the way back to the start. Um, it just means that you have to start again on that particular car park. So maybe it could have been uh, more aggressive in its hostility to the player, but certainly uh, it can be quite frustrating if you manage to clear a good chunk of snow only to uh, come a cropper and then have to go back to the start of the car park all over again. Um, I suppose you could say that the, the gameplay of this is similar to um, Pac-Man. I mean, essentially that's what you're doing. You're, you're in a, a grid, uh, for want of a better description, and you're collecting, uh, in this case, snow rather than dots. Uh, no power pills, though, so we can't power up our snowplow. Um, it is as uh, powerful as, well, as we can see at the moment. So, not doing too badly here. Uh, just need to get that last scrap of snow over there and we're through to the second car park. And now we've got two of those blue meanies circling around. I don't, as I say, I don't know what they are. I was thinking earlier perhaps they're uh, a bird's eye view of some very fast walking shoppers with, um, with bobble hats on, but then thinking about it, if that were the case, I suspect that they would be the ones that came off worse for wear if they walked into a snowplow. Um, oh dear. Hemmed in there. Ah, you're sacked. Lovely. Well, I managed to clear one car park and scored 213, but I think we need to uh, keep going. So let's uh, let's head back to uh, car park number one. Um, so yes, this is uh, on the Christmas Crackers compilation. So it's billed as a as a festive game. That's why I've brought it in as part of my Merry Beebmas series. But um, it has to be said, apart from the oh dear, apart from the snow, it's possibly not that festive. Uh, you're not playing the part of Santa Claus or one of his elves. Uh, you are a, a car park attendant uh, who's been given the unenviable task of clearing away all the snow. I say unenviable, I probably quite like to have a go on a snow plow. I reckon it's great fun. Uh, probably a bit chilly though. Uh, I suppose the association of snow, certainly in the UK, snow is uh, synonymous with Christmas. Um, not that you get a white Christmas that often these days, certainly not down south where I'm from. Um, you're lucky if you get snow at all, uh, and if you do get snow, it's very rarely uh, on Christmas Day. I would say that the certainly the last few Christmases that I can remember have been sometimes wet Christmases, but certainly not uh, certainly not white Christmases. Probably a different story if you're a bit further north, or indeed north of the border over in Scotland. I think that uh, they tend to get snow quite regularly at this time of year. Um, but uh, yes, I mean, snow is really the major concession to this being a, a Christmas game. Um, now in terms of the actual gameplay itself, uh, if we leave to one side how noisy it is, it's it's not a bad game. It's uh, it's quite enjoyable. It's sort of got that, um, that dynamic to it that I, I mentioned in one of Zero X Code's games, uh, the one where you're moving boxes around a warehouse. It's it kind of gives you a sense of uh, sense of achievement from clearing. Well, I haven't managed to clear it yet. Uh, clearing the car park. Uh, it's a sort of nice. I won't, go, I won't go as far as saying mindless. More a sort of zen feeling of uh, just gradually making your way around. Um, 
actually in some respects those 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 menaces those bobble hats or whatever they are that keep chasing you around the car park they uh, possibly add an element of um, panic or stress to what otherwise would be a, a fairly uh, sort of relaxed um, feeling of getting a getting a job done um, as I say I, I'm, I'm quite a fan of games that are gentle and not too uh, reliant on reflexes my reflexes are not what they were so uh, yes I quite like to have a, a gentle game and I mean snowplow is fairly gentle not too much in the way of stress apart from the stress I make for myself when I drive into the walls of course um, now those rocks are quite annoying there because oh I turned before I should have done oh dear sacked again all right. Well, I think we should give it one more go at least. So uh, let's uh, let's dive back in, get back into the uh, the chilly seat of our snowplow, and uh, once again try to clear clear the car parks of snow. So yes, I'd be really interested to hear from anybody who perhaps um, sent off for Christmas crackers and bought uh, the Christmas crackers collection from Micro User. Uh, I remember snowplow i don't remember the other games so they're going to be quite new for me when i get to the oh dear I've driven into a wall again uh, they are going to be uh, a bit of a revelation for me as i get to them in this series um, but certainly snowplow is one that i do remember i didn't bring it into the top 85 game series because there's not an awful lot to it and i, I think of it more as a, a mini game than a sort of full-blown game um but uh, yes, it's uh, and also I have to say that the fact that it's so noisy does make me uh, sometimes wish that uh, I turn the volume off altogether before playing it. But then the, the sound does. Uh, I suppose it's part of the game. Um, it is part of the uh, the sense of achievement, and it helps you. It helps guide you as to when you're clearing snow when, versus when you're not. I wonder if it might have been better to have just dispensed with the sound of the snowplow itself. I think the white noise of clearing the snow is is all well and good, but uh, I do wonder if perhaps we didn't really need the, <laughs> the motor sound effect as well. Um, that does seem a little bit excessive, but uh, there we go. That's car park one cleared once again. Make our way to car park two. This is my nemesis. Haven't managed to get past this one yet. Not sure if I will do in this video, but uh, you never know. Stranger things have happened. Uh, yeah, so uh, yes, micro user did have uh, some of these um, sort of send off and buy uh, offers uh, back in the day. Um, I think this would have been a bit too much for a type in listing. Um, it's certainly using some some machine code. Oh no! Oh, I've got one life left on this car park now. Oh dear. Not sure if I'm going to be successful, but uh, there you go. It's all part of the fun. Um, these these videos, by the way, these uh, these Christmas videos. I just thought it would be a bit of fun to uh, to do some Christmas themed videos in the run up to Christmas. Um, I uh, I'm not sort of intending them to be full blown game reviews, so uh, hence why I've I've chosen some fairly uh, some fairly simple oh dear some fairly simple entries. Um, they're certainly not as advanced as some of the other games that I've played, I like Santa Slay, for example, uh, from Andrew Waite, which is a, a full blown game in my opinion. Well, I've been sacked again, and um, I think I'm going to give it one more try just because I'm a glutton for punishment. And I have to say that the more I've been playing it, the more I've been enjoying it. So uh, let that be, um, uh, I was going to say let that be a lesson, that's probably the wrong word. Let that be uh, guidance for you. If you do decide to go and hunt this one down, uh, you may be surprised at how enjoyable it turns out to be. Uh, it doesn't look like much, but um, as with a lot of 8-bit games, uh, they are surprisingly addictive once you actually get into them and uh, I've already managed to improve my car park one clearing skills uh, the first couple of times I uh, played this earlier uh, I really was doing very badly and not wasn't even able to get past the first car park but um, yeah I, once you get used to the controls they're slightly unusual controls for Beeb games so they're not the traditional um, ZX and uh, asterisk backslash controls that oops that uh, you would typically get um, for the uh, left right up down but uh, yeah it uses a and Z for up and down and then the uh, greater than less than uh, triangular brackets for uh, going left and right so it's sort of a transposition of uh, the uh, the traditional controls 
And after saying about how I'd improved my ability to clear Car Park 1, I've now done possibly the worst yet uh, in this review, so uh, <laughs> well done me. Always the way with these videos, I should, uh, I should never... I should never say anything positive about my abilities uh, whilst I'm playing, because it's always a recipe for disaster. Ooh. My emulator gave a little bit of a, a little bit of a hiccup there. Right, I need to just avoid that roving, roving menace, which is, to be honest, that thing that moves around is should really be the only threat level of the game, because everything else is really within your own control and. If you're foolish enough like me to drive into walls and getting your left and right or up and down mixed up, then, uh, well, that's more your fault, really. I'm going to blame it on the fact that uh, I'm used to the, the ZX uh, controls, and so having a... a oh, no. Uh, didn't even get past the first car park. I think I deserve to be sacked there. Well, there you go. Um, I was trying to uh, blame my abilities there on the keys, but let's face it, it was probably just my... Uh, general abilities at uh, games in general so there we are that was snowplow the uh, first game on the christmas crackers collection from the micro user uh hope you've enjoyed that a little bit of festive fun and i hope you'll join me for the next merry beebmas video in the series when i'll be looking at the next few games on the christmas crackers disc but until then goodbye